Sisterhood and Slavery in the Woman King. The Woman King, an exhilarating saga set on the battlefields of 19th century West Africa, opens with a scene of liberation. Dahomey, a scrappy kingdom menaced by the slave trade, has dispatched its bravest soldiers to rescue a group of captive subjects who are at risk of being sold to the rival Oyo Empire. Led by General Naniska, Viola Davis, an all-female unit of Agoji, or Amazons, strike the enemy outpost in the dead of night. Rising from the tall grass with blades drawn, they quickly cut their opponents to pieces. Naniska, in a cowrie-studded breastplate, slits the throat of a man who denies taking slaves. Victorious, they return to Dahomey, where grateful crowds meet them at the city gates. Civilians are forbidden to look upon the warriors, who are officially the king's wives, but... When a little boy peeks, the coolie swaggering Azoji, Lashana Lynch rewards him with a smile. You'd better believe it, she seems to be saying a message equally directed at the audience. Much of the hype around The Woman King, which premieres Friday, has focused on the obstacles to making it. The actor Maria Bello, who wrote the story with Dana Stevens, pitched the idea to Davis seven years ago, easily persuading the Hollywood titan to produce, champion, and star in the project but studios balked at funding a feminist action movie rooted in African history, especially with dark-skinned actors in the lead roles. Then, in 2018, the astronomical success of Black Panther shifted the calculus, especially once fans learned that Wakanda's Dora Middle Age warriors were directly inspired by the Egoji. Sony's tri-star pictures tapped Gina Prince by Hewitt Love and Basketball to direct the $50 million feature, which she's compared with Braveheart. For her and her collaborators, the battle isn't just for the homies freedom but the future of equity in cinema. If you don't come to see it, then you're sending a message that black women can't lead the box office globally, Davis said last week.